Alright, hello guys, this is a highly requested video. Today I'm going to be talking about the potential for a major blizzard this weekend, anywhere from the mid-Atlantic up into New England. We're talking about that potential there. Uh, before I get started with the video, I will be making many videos on this storm, kind of as we get closer, to keep talking about the potential and any updates with the storm. So if you are in the area that could be affected and you are interested, I'd highly recommend you subscribe so you can keep up with the latest information on this storm. Let's get right into it. This is going to be a video mostly, uh, you know, around model run here. Uh, model runs aren't my forecast, so I can't really be held responsible, but I am going to be showing you what the weather models are predicting at this point. Now, here's the gem model we're going to start out with, or the CMC. This is the Canadian model, and it's done uh, pretty well in the previous two years. So we do take this one uh, pretty seriously, and we do pay attention to what it shows. So we're going to see our low pressure system develop here right around Oklahoma, Texas area. It's going to bring snow to Kansas, Nebraska, Missouri, Iowa, areas like that. And we're going to see it move eastward and bring snow, according to this model, to the North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, uh, southern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, and Delaware area here. And we're going to see it move offshore and not really affect that New England area. Now, uh, here's the sh your snowfall total with the CMC model for this one. And you can see mostly Virginia, North Carolina, and Missouri getting affected by this one, according to this model. Also, areas like Illinois, Kentucky, Kansas, Oklahoma, Colorado also being affected by this one. Now, we're going to move on to our next model. This is the ECMWF European model. And this one also shows this low pressure system developing in the Oklahoma, Texas area. Not as much snow for Kansas, according to this model, but Missouri definitely getting some of that snow there. And we're going to see him move eastward. And we're going to see Missouri, Kansas getting some of that back end snow. Uh, we're going to see Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, Pennsylvania getting some snow. And we're going to move on one more. And you see Northern Virginia. You see Maryland. You also see Delaware and Southern New Jersey getting that snow. And this one's a lot closer to a hit for Southern New England. But it's also out to sea and doesn't quite make it on shore. That's kind of the consensus right now. And here's your snowfall total according to this one. Looks a lot like the CMC. Heaviest snow is in Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky. And then we also see some of those heavier pockets for West Virginia and Virginia. Southern Maryland as well. Now we're going to move on to the FV3 GFS, and this one's really one of the ones that really shows that hit for New England, so we're going to watch this one. Again, your low pressure system develops in Oklahoma, Texas area. We see that heavy snow for Missouri and Kansas. We're quite confident in the Missouri uh, and Kansas area because we're a lot closer to the storm hitting for those areas. Looks like you guys are going to get... Uh, really heavy amounts of snow there. We're going to move on one hour and you see it moves into Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, but you'll notice this one's a little bit further north with the low pressure system and Kentucky doesn't even really get snow on this one. North Carolina doesn't really get snow on this one. Virginia gets a little bit there. We're going to move on one more hour and you see New England getting a hit according to this model. The low pressure system's right offshore of New Jersey, Rhode Island, and uh, Massachusetts and this is what really causes that snow for the northern Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, uh, upstate New York, New York City, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. We're going to move on one more hour, and you can see very heavy snow there for areas of southern Massachusetts, also Connecticut, Rhode Island. Uh, you're all looking at a lot of heavy snow there, according to this model, and you can see it moves offshore. Not too big of a hit for Maine and New Hampshire on this one. Uh, but we do get some snow for those New England areas, according to this model. So this one has it, has it kind of going up the coast there, or going further north. And now we're going to talk a little bit more about those requirements for a blizzard. Why am I calling this the potential for a blizzard instead of just a snowstorm? Well, you can see, according to the winds here, the 10-meter uh, wind speed, you can see that we're above 30 knots. And knots are more than miles, we know this, miles per hour. So an, a knot is, is higher than a mile per hour. And you can see it's even in the 40 to 45 uh, knot range there and the requirement for a blizzard is actually 35 miles per hour so we can see we well exceed that so some areas here look to get blizzard conditions at least some areas it might be more widespread than we're thinking right now too now here's your snowfall total according to the fe3 gfs you can see a lot of uh, those 6 inches plus, 10 inches plus, a lot of those 10 inches plus for Illinois and Missouri there. Uh, and you can see Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York City, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and southern Massachusetts, you're all getting 6 to 10 inches according to this model. So it could be a very big hit for you. We're going to see what the models continue to show. 
Uh, and here's your normal GFS. So we see that low pressure system develop in the Oklahoma, Texas area, bringing snow to Missouri and even Arkansas in this model. This one keeps it further south than the FV3 GFS, a lot further south. And you can see your snow for Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, West Virginia. We're going to move on one more. And you see this one has a major hit for Virginia and North Carolina, kind of like that early December storm. Uh, and then we see it move offshore and not affect the New England area. Let's look at your wind on this one. Again, above 35 miles per hour there for the affected areas. And here's your snowfall forecast. You can see 6 to 8 inches, 6 to 10 inches here for Missouri, northern Arkansas. Uh, and then we also see our Virginia and North Carolina area. That's where we also see 6 to 8 inches, 10 inches plus in some of those green areas. So very heavy snow possible. So here's my snowfall map or not my snowfall map, this is my forecast map as of right now. So this actually is a forecast, this portion of the video. Uh, the model runs can't be considered a forecast according to me, that's just model runs. I'm just showing you guys the models. Uh, this is my forecast. This is your area to watch where there is the potential for a storm here. Anywhere within this blue area, we're looking at the potential for snowfall, and we're going to need to watch this one closely because it could be very, very major. So that's your area to watch according to me. Now, here's a disclaimer. Model runs aren't a forecast. A computer-based model is a computer program that is designed to simulate what might or what did happen in a situation. These models run four times a day and tend to vary in what they're forecasting. Models are a tool to help forecast. They should not be used alone to forecast. So as I showed you guys the model runs there, we're looking at them and we're taking them into consideration, but we also use experience to kind of tell us, look, is this really something we should take into consideration or not? Or how heavily should we rely on this model? So I'm just informing you guys the models are showing this major, major snowstorm, but it's not necessarily a forecast. My area to watch forecast, though, was definitely a forecast. Uh, and then requirements for a blizzard. Officially, the National Weather Service defines a blizzard as a snow as a storm which contains large amounts of snow or blowing snow. The winds in excess of 40, 35 miles per hour and visibilities of less than one quarter of a mile for an extended period of time at least three hours. So you can see according to the winds and snowfall we will be uh, reaching those requirements according to these model runs. That's why I'm calling it the potential for a blizzard. Anyway guys, I hope you stay safe with this storm. I hope you subscribe to stay up, uh, up to date with the latest information for this one. Anyway, everybody just stay safe with this one. It might be something very major if you're in Missouri or the Northeast or the Mid-Atlantic. See you guys later.